Good morning, everybody. Or Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it is Friday night, which means it is time for Friday Night Fights, our weekly War of the Visions auto PvP tournament. The special rule set for this week is hair color. You had to make teams of all one hair color. Now, when we decided on this rule set, we might not have anticipated the overpoweredness of blondes because we're down to our last three uh, players here. And spoiler alert, all three of them are using blondes. Now, a lot of that has to do with one unit in particular, a unit that you see on Dragon Whiskers' screen there. That would be Black Rose Helena. She has been a dominating force in this tournament to this point. So, you see her there. Dragon Whisker running Cloud, Frederica, Black Rose Helena. That has not been the most dominating team comp. That's going to be from our uh, person sitting in the winner's bracket waiting to take on the winner of this match. But anyway, let's watch this. Let's see how it plays out. Black Rose Helena buffs her own TMR, gets her shield or agility up. Cloud walks up, sharp shot, 4,600 damage. She takes a beating from that. Zalk is running Charlotte, Frederica, and Cloud. So no Black Rose Helena on this all blondes team. Charlotte's in there instead. Charlotte out here tanking some damage. Charlotte is very effective against Black Rose Helena in particular. Let's see what happens here. Helena steps up, dark, 1500 damage. She just shakes that off, no big deal. There's Inherited Tyranny from Cloud. He's got that defense penetration online, and it's Frederica's turn. She steps forward and just says, pop, takes Helena out of this fight. It's now a 3v2. Cloud down to 13 AP. Going to have some AP problems right here. He's going to go Soldier's Honor, get that attack and AP recovery buff on to Charlotte. Swift, excuse me, Swift Punishment comes out. Agility debuff on the enemy team. And Frederica is low. She's looking. She's looking for that target. Arm shot onto Charlotte. The disable lands and she doesn't die. So that disable is important. But Zalk's Frederica steps forward, kills the enemy Cloud, and now it's Zalk's Cloud's turn. 35 AP. He can do stuff again. He's thinking. He's thinking. Triple Slash comes out. One Slash would have been enough. He goes for three. He takes down Frederica, and Zalk will move back up to the winner's bracket for a revenge match against Cuckington, the guy who put him down in the loser's bracket. GG. Let's go to that fight. All right, now for the grand finals, we've got Cuckington up here in the winner's bracket, has not dropped a match today. Zalk got bumped down to the loser's bracket by losing to Cuckington in the, the semifinal of the winner's bracket, right? That makes sense. Anyway, there you see Zalk's team. Zalk has swapped Black Rose Helena into his squad for Frederica. You are allowed to do that. You can move people in and out of the team in between fights. There's no rule against that as long as it meets the, the, you know, the rules. Cuckington is running what I've called like the squad the whole time. Black Rose Helena, King Mott, and Cloud. It's a really OP combo who all just happen to have blonde hair. And once we release the hair color thing, this team was like destined for the finals. But will it pull up? Will it like pay out for them? Will they be able to win? We don't know. Maybe Zalk will overcome the OPness. Let's see. Anyway, it's Cuckington's Black Rose Helena's turn. She's looking for a target. She steps back. She's going to drop the limit break on only Charlotte. This is one of her hardest hitting moves, and it's only hitting the tank, who's a particularly good magic tank. 2,000 damage and the speed reflex proc. So that's pretty nice. A little agility buff there for um, Charlotte. There's Helena putting the TMR buff on herself from Zalk. She steps forward. Cloud's turn. He has 49 AP. Cross Slash comes out onto the King Mott for 6,600 damage. That's a lot. King Mott out of AP, only four. He steps forward and auto attacks. It's Charlotte's turn. What's she going to do? Now, note her positioning. She goes with Lightning Strike and kills Mott. That's really, really important because had she not killed him, she would have probably stood right there next to him and drawn the AoE attacks into everybody else. Either way, she gets deleted by Cloud on the next turn. Like, that damage was insane. Note, though, um, Cuckington's Black Rose Helena is charging a spell. That's going to open up the opportunity for instant cast abilities from Zalk's team. Black Rose Helena's Limit Break comes through. Cloud dies. And can Zalk's Cloud kill Black Rose Helena before she casts? Yes, she, yes he can. Auto Attack comes through. Zalk wins the first fight. But since he came from the loser's bracket, Cuckington gets a second chance to defend his spot as the winner's bracket champion. Let's go there now. Okay, 
we're in for fight two of the grand finals. The winner of this fight is the winner of this week's Friday Night Fights. So the question is, what changes did Zalk or Cuckington make to their teams? Zalk could just run the same squad, and he is running the same three units thinking, hey, I won the first time, why would I change anything up? But Cuckington could say, I'm going to change something, and then Zalk would have to think, well, what if he changes something? Who knows? It could go crazy. We'll see. It looks like we are going to get the same units here, though. Zalk sticking with um, Black Rose Helena, Cloud, and Charlotte. So the buffs are coming online. Meanwhile, excuse me, Cuckington sticking with Cloud, Black Rose Helena, King Mont. Hey, if this squad got you all the way to the Grand Finals, only dropping the last match, stick with your guns. It was really, really close in that last fight. Had Black Rose Helena done an instant cast ability and like killed Cloud or something, who knows what could have changed. Anyway, you can see an AI shift here from Cuckington's team. He's got his King Mott really extended forward. He's got his Black Rose Helena staying back and buffing. That's a good adjustment. Let King Mott eat all those AoEs and hope your DPS can come through later and clean it up for you. Okay, Salk Squad mar marching forward like the soldiers they are. There's the Soldier's Honor buff from Cloud. It's King Mott's turn. We're about to start the damage. Cuckington's Mott steps forward, Fangs of Leonis. He goes for the Disable. It does not land. That would have been a big fight-changing ability had the Disable landed. Stunning Edge comes across. No stun lands. So 0 for 2 on early status effects from both teams. Now, it's Zalk's Cloud with 66 AP. He's going braver, and he destroys the King Mott. King Mott gets crushed by that Braver, almost 10,000 damage. And Black Rose Helena for both teams, though, safe in the back line. Cuckington's Cloud looking for some revenge right here. He steps forward, Triple Slash comes out, finds two targets. Both targets go a little bit low. Charlotte's still at about half. Lightning Strike comes out, Cloud lives through it, but barely. Now it's Black Rose Helena's turn. What can she do? She's channeling a spell. Dark comes out, Charlotte 2,000 damage. She's fine. But Zalk's Helena is a little bit too far back, has not been able to engage in the fight yet. Will that matter? We'll see. Anyway, it's Zalk's Cloud's turn. He switches targets. He says, Cloud, I'm going to leave you for Charlotte to deal with. I'm going to drop my LB on this Black Rose Helena, which removes her barrier and one-shots her. And you guys, it is going to take some god-level reflex plays here from Cuckington's Cloud to win this fight. But reflex is a thing as Zalk's Cloud comes out and shows. That would have been a double kill probably from Cuckington's Cloud, but instead it gets Reflex. He does kill the Cloud. It's a 1v1. Can we get a Reflex? We cannot. Black Rose Helena kills him, and Zalk is the winner. GG, and I think we have proved once and for all that the superior hair color in War of the Visions is blonde. So when a new unit comes out and you're thinking, do I pull this unit or not? Be like, hey, are they blonde? If so, maybe add like plus one into maybe you should pull this unit category. And that's it. Okay, guys, if you want to play in Friday Night Fights, we do these every Friday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. New rule sets every week. We will vote on next week's rule set here in a second once this uh, YouTube recording ends. And uh, join the Discord down in the description to be a part of the fun. I hope to see you there. Have a great weekend, everybody. Peace.